Hey guys, we're back with another video from Keto Made Easy. Tonight we're going to do chicken popper casserole. So I've actually made this before. It's actually really, really good. Um, I made this a long time ago, like I said. Uh, we've started a, uh, a new category tonight, you guys. We started classic comfort food. So we're in, um, they're calling it chapter three. So we are starting a new chapter. The calories in this recipe is 372. Fat is 27.2 grams, protein is 30.7 grams, carbs are 2.5 grams, and fiber is 1 gram. So the first thing I'm going to do is preheat my oven. I actually already did because I cooked the bacon already. So we're going to heat a large skillet over medium-high heat. Um, so I'm going to do that right now. And then the next thing we're going to do is while that skillet is heating, chop the chicken thighs into one inch pieces and slightly season with salt and pepper. So we need one and a half pounds of chicken. So I've got some simple truth, no antibiotics or added hormones. It's a natural chicken I got from um, Fry's. And it is 1.82, which will be fine for the size. So I'm going to cut this open here and chop this. I'm going to bring it down a little bit here, guys. So there we go. And then we're going to... And look, I like that it doesn't have extra fat on there. So I'm just going to cut this up here. just to one inch bites there so this one's got a little bit of stuff in it I'm going to take out I need to take that bacon out. I just finished work, so I uh, started the bacon a little bit earlier. Just cutting them up so that they cook a lot um, faster. And then one left here. This one doesn't look too bad. And then I'm going to quickly wash my hands, get that um, bacon out of the stove, and then we'll start with number two. So 
So then step two is while, and then we're going to salt this with um, salt and pepper. So I've got some Himalayan salt right here. We'll season this a little bit. And then add some pepper. So I've got this pepper here. And then step uh, three says to spray the hot skillet with coconut oil and then add the chicken saute on each side for five to seven minutes. So I'm going to move you guys over here and we're going to, I'm going to use, instead of the coconut spray, I'm going to use this organic coconut oil. We're almost out of it. My last recipe I used quite a bit of it to make those corn those flour tortillas I'm gonna have to get some more I usually buy my coconut oil at Marshalls or TJ Maxx they actually have um, pretty big ones like this I paid $8.99 for this thing I'm just uh, getting this whole thing kind of covered with some coconut oil. And then we're going to add in the chicken. I'm just going to take uh, some tongs and set it in there and start cooking it. I'll just go ahead and cook these first and then I'll cook the rest here. Bring them over here. I do like that nothing is sticking, so that's good. And then I'm going to get a plate to put these on and then we'll put in some more, okay? So when those are done, I'm just going to put them on this uh, paper plate here.
Okay, I'm going to take these out and cook the rest. I am going to add a little bit more um, coconut milk. That one wasn't done. Or coconut oil so that the uh, doesn't stick. I have to do this three times.
Okay, last bunch here. We got ow, a good amount of chicken. Cut the oven off or the blotting at me here. Got a great amount of chicken for this recipe. I'm gonna move you guys back over to the counter here. We're gonna do the next step. The next step is taking two jalapenos. We're gonna take um, minced one of them and then slice the other one. So what did I do with my, I put my pairing, my drink in here. Yeah. I accidentally put it in there. So we're going to dice one of them. Got to get all the seeds out. So I'm going to use the sink as my friend here. I'm going to get the other one here. These ones I've been getting at the store have been just as strong as freaking onions lately. I don't know why. So, if you don't like hot stuff, I guess you could just put as much or little as you want. But don't put it in it at all. And then the next one we're going to um, slice. So when we slice it, we're just going to cut it in like a circle. But I need to make sure I put these in the bowl here. So there we go. This one wasn't as seedy as the other one was. There we go. And now I just need to get all the seeds out of here. I don't know why these are so strong. There we go. So there's my circular ones. And the next thing we're going to do is So now we're going to put the chicken in here. And then we're going to add the rest of the ingredients here. So we're going to add uh, six ounces of cream cheese. So I've got my cream cheese here. And this is room temperature. It's been sitting out for a while. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just perfect. I'm just going to add that in there. And then we're going to. And the heavy cream. So the heavy cream is going to be a fourth of a cup. So here's my fourth of a cup and my heavy whipping cream here. Oh, my nose. We're going to just stir this up, get it coated, and grab a spatula here. Got my Christmassy one here. Get this. 
coated here. And then we're going to add in the minced jalapenos and stir some more. And then we're going to add in some bacon crumbles. So I cooked some bacon earlier and we're going to take the five cooked and crumble them. So my best way to do this is to take a plastic bag like this. I'm going to bring the bacon over. And I'm going to put the bacon in here. And this plastic bag here. There's probably other ways to do it, but this is the way I like to do it. So I know that. And then I just. And then I don't get my hands all greasy or dirty. It's easy to pull apart. And I've got crumbles. Perfect way to do it. And then we're going to add in. Okay, it says about fourth, four fifths of the crumbled bacon. So we're not going to add in all the bacon. We're just going to add a little bit. So I'm going to bring my bowl back over here my bag so I left some at the bottom there we're gonna mix this in and now we're going to add in some cheese so the first cheese we're gonna do is the Monterey Jack cheese and we need half a cup so let me grab my scissors to open this. Set this aside here. Grab, grab a plate. My nose is still on fire. Crazy. And here's the plate and I have a cheese grater. I'm just going to treat There we go. See if that's enough. Take my half a cup here and put it in there. Just perfect. And then we're going to add that into the bowl here. And then we're going to use <coughs> some cheddar cheese next. So here's my cheddar cheese from uh, fries. Do the same thing. This one is only a fourth of a cup of cheddar cheese. But cheese never hurts anybody, so I'm just going to use up the rest of this block here. And then we're going to add in the seasoning. We're almost done. There we go. Now we're going to add in the rest of this and stir it up. And then we're going to add in the garlic powder, which is uh, 
We're going to add one teaspoon. So here's my teaspoon. And it told me in the ingredient part, it says my minced garlic. So that's what I'm going to use. And in the listing, it says to use minced garlic. But in the actual wording, it says garlic powder. So... And then onion powder is a fourth of a teaspoon, so I'm going to use that. Here's my fourth of a teaspoon here. And then salt and pepper. So I've got my salt here. And then my pepper. And then we're going to combine this and then pour it all into the baking pan. The 13 by 9 baking dish. So here is my baking dish here. I'm going to evenly spread this out here. Perfect. And then it says, and then put more cheese on top if you want, and then more bacon. So we'll go ahead and put the bacon, the rest of the bacon on here, and then we'll add a little bit more cheese. There's the rest of the bacon, and then we'll add a little bit more cheese to it. <clears throat> oh, and then the jalapenos, the circle jalapenos. So I'm just going to dice up a little bit more cheese. And to just to sprinkle on top here. And a little bit more of the sharp cheddar. There we go. And then we're going to add the jalapeno circles on top. And then we bake this for about 10 minutes. And then you broil it for 2 minutes. So we'll put these on here. You don't have to put these on if you don't want to, but I'm going to do what the recipe says. So I'm going to put this in the oven for about 10 minutes. We'll be back in about 10 minutes, guys. Okay, guys, it's been about 10 minutes, and then I let it boil for more than like six minutes. It took for the cheese to um, get brown. I'm going to go ahead and cut this open here. Looks really, really good. I'm going to put some of this. <laughs> that was hot. <laughs> On my plate. Very cheesy. Put some jalapenos on there. I'm going to take a bite here. Make it some moolah. Take a bite of it. It's very hot. I just took it out of the oven. Really good. The bacon and the cheese and the chicken. Really good, you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys.